So hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. So today in this video we will be learning how do how you can API automate uh, you, how you can automate your API in Postman. Okay. So like like I will give you an example. Uh, like suppose you have one collection inside which there are uh, four to five API methods that you have uh, the API that you have called and whether it should be get or post and there are some certain criteria that you have mentioned that if, if this uh, if this is the get this is the get method the respond uh, response code should be 200 and the response time should be this and the body of the response size should be this uh, limited okay so all these test cases that you write there and you have to test those apis core methods over there so we will see uh, one example how you can automate the API testing in the postman okay so I will go inside my postman okay so I will just click on the plus sign uh, it will give me the untitled request first uh, okay and uh, I'll be using the request API that we have used in our previous video also and I will just copy that URL over here and I am trying to fetch the page number one okay and since it is a uh, get method we are fetching the uh, user details right so the page should be value will be one and once I hit send it should give me the entire page where the ID uh, player IDs of person starting from 1 to 6 are stored inside this page because per page contain 6 users okay and the size is uh, 1.7 KB and the time it takes to get the response is 138 MS and the status is also 200 okay so everything is working fine okay so this is our api that we are going to use to automate uh, api testing all right so to test your uh, api this a method you just uh, can see here a test uh, tab is there you just click on here click on this tab and once you click on this tab i let me just uh, get this okay now here you can see snippets under snippet section there, there are a bunch of uh, method buttons are there like get an environment variable get a global variable get a variable so you can just click on those one of those uh, methods or the buttons and you, the snippets for testing it it will get automatically import in your test tab okay so this is how you can import what I'll be checking is if my response time is less than 200 ms this is one I required and I'll be checking whether the status code is 200 is not and I will be checking uh, whether a response body uh, is equals to a string okay so I will be checking this one as uh, also okay. status code name has string okay and uh, anything I don't want I'll be doing this one itself okay so let me just first save this uh, my request inside a new collection uh, let me just create a new collections or collection over here and I will call it as uh, okay wait uh, I have to get back to my uh, root folder and I will uh, create a new collection and uh, let me call it as automate automate API okay I will just create and once I create I will save this uh, math get method over there and after saving my get method uh, let me just go inside my test and I will explain you what I am doing over here okay so I am testing once I uh, te test this API I am checking for these three conditions whether my response time is less than 200 ms if that is the case uh, yeah so then this this condition should pass and I'm checking my status code should be 200 if uh, that is the case this condition also get passed and I'm checking whether the body that I'm getting or the response that I'm getting from the user the, this is the response that I'm getting it contains a string uh, that I passed from here okay if that if that is the case this uh, this condition will also get passed and and if all the three condition get passed my this uh, method will uh, treated as passed okay or uh, if any one of this gets failed my this get method will be treated as failed in the aut api automation testing okay so first let me just give all the green signals okay all three condition i'm in will i'm doing it positive okay 
so what I am checking is response time is less than 200 and I will get here and check the response time as I am getting uh, 138 ms so it is less than 200 ms so it, it, it should get a pass and also I am checking the status code is 200 yeah the status code is also 200 this will also get passed and I am checking whether the body uh, contains the string okay so let me just pass one string uh, I will just pass the username of the first name of this user okay I will copy and I will just pass this uh, name over here and it will check whether uh, the document that I received uh, is contains this string or not so yeah it contains this string uh, all three should get passed and everything should work fine I will save my this and I will just hit send again okay so as soon as I hit send you, you should see test results are also came here and the body is correct so okay expected response body is equal to George but got okay so it is giving me the entire uh, page itself uh, I think I have said the wrong uh, condition there uh, the condition should be let me just check uh, what should be the condition okay so instead of checking for the uh, this body I will I can check uh, for the code name has a string okay so I will check uh, whether my code name has a string and the string should be okay since it is a get request my uh, return uh, status code will be 200 which represents okay so if that is the case it should also get passed I will just save my request and just send it again yeah now you can see all three get passed because my response time is uh, under 200 ms my response status code is also 200 and status code name has also string which is okay all three get passed and uh, okay so this is how we can uh, provide the tests for this method uh, so let me just again create one more uh, API call uh, which is same but this time I will uh, fetch the page number two let me just fetch, fetch number two and I will just send this request and uh, I will go into the test and I will just copy all these test cases from here itself and just paste it over here but this time uh, my response time is one, uh, 127 ms uh, so instead of that I will check whether my response time is below 100 since it is not below 100 it should give me the false so this test case should be fa should fail and uh, I will also update the string as it is less not less than 100 and uh, rest I can keep it as it is okay just let me uh, this one also change it like created so as we know created is for 201 when we create the post uh, post method and I will just uh, save it inside the automate API itself let me save it yeah so you can see inside my collection automate api there are two requests that that is been saved and all these requests have their own tests there itself right okay so what you can do is just click on your uh, collection click on these three dots and over here uh, you can see okay oh, okay 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 wait uh, once you click on your automate api that new tab should be open and click on the runs and you can see a uh, run collection button is there select those uh, uh, methods that you want to run uh, run manually and iteration should be 1 delay should be 0 and run the automate API click on this and you can see uh, after running this uh, since I have only two method calls it it, it does uh, it does quickly and uh, I can see all my five test cases that that, that been passed and one one got failed that has intentionally I, I have failed them because uh, in the string should be okay and I, I have given that it should be created okay so that one is got failed so this is how you can uh, create those methods and create the tests for them and you can uh, run the entire uh, collection over from here and you can see the previous history of the uh, collection that you have run is also here and you can click on them and check the whatever test cases got failed and whatever test cases got passed over here itself okay so this is how you can uh, automate the api testing in postman thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one